I think we're I think we're live. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? If you're watching on a replay, it's nobody here yet. I just want to do a. This is an impromptu live. Um, I'm editing a video on my device, and I want to do it with you guys. You guys had questions, and I want to. I want to have a little fun. So happy Saturday afternoon. It's beautiful outside, but I had about an hour or so, so I wanted to give you guys. I want to check in with y'all. So let's see if anybody pops up. I'm using my laptop as a live feature, so I've never done that before. So I got the chat. It looks a little bit different. What up, Christopher? How you doing? I don't know who will pop in here, but what up, what up, what up? Um, yeah. So I, <clears throat> all right, let me find something first. I'll let some people show up and then I will uh, talk about what I'm doing here. What am I looking for? Uh, oh, I was looking for this. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing well. It's a good day for me. Um, got some things done today, so I'm feeling good. What up, Kevin, Cassandra, Nomadic, Cocky PNC? What's up, brother? Deborah. Um, you're in Iowa. That's what's up. What up, Robert? Micah. How's my dad? <laughs> Mad Dash. What's up? What's up? It's a whole lot of, I bet, man, in Iowa. So, yeah, I just want to pop in with you guys and talk real quick. I'm doing a video. And um, for my fellow content creators or for those that are curious, I'm going to talk about it and show you guys kind of in real time. Look, I use iMovie. Okay, so these are the clips. And you string it together. Super easy. Some people make content on their GoPro or their software on their uh, laptop or computer. I do basically everything, except sometimes these lives, on a iPhone 13. And I use iMovie, okay? So I'm putting it together here, okay? That's me, I just got done filming it, okay? Boom, 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 you can, and you can just add in, listen, if you have an iPhone, use iMovie. It won't cost you anything. You don't need a GoPro. You don't need this. You don't need that. Super, super, super easy. So, um, yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a... Oh, shit. Oh, let me turn the lights on real quick. It's a little bit better. Oh, that's way better. I should have started like that. I should start this live stream over but because the first didn't look that great. This looks a lot better, I think, right? So, all right, all right. Let me go ahead and pop in here real quick. Hit that thumbs up for your boy. All right, so let me show you guys. You can probably see it better now, right? Yeah, there you go. I'm on iMovie. You can add in things. You can split things up. You can splice it. You can put screenshots in. It's so easy, man. It's so easy. So I'm actually making this uh, video here for the rideshare guy. I did mine earlier already today. That'll come out tonight. Um, but I'm making a video talking about curry. Okay. And I'm going, I got to add in some some things. I'm going to do that live with you guys. So if you guys got questions, I'll try to read it. What up? What up? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Did it freeze? What is that app? Oh, iMovie. Look. See that iMovie? It comes with the iPhone. So if you click on that, let me go back to the done. Okay, let me go back. Projects. So you click on movie. Okay, and then your media pops up. You can click back and you got videos, photos, albums, backgrounds. You click on video. It's going to ask you all recently. I click on recently added and then everything that you filmed with your device will pop up and you find what you want to put in. You click on something and you can hit the play button. Pedro with the rideshare guy. In today's video, I'm going to share that app. Okay. And then you can hit the check mark. If you want to add that in, you hit create movie. I'll do that now. I'll do a separate one. And it pops up like that. And you see, you can scroll in. There's a plus mark. If I hit at the end of that, if I hit plus, that pops up. You click video. You hit recently added. Everything else pops back up. And then you go to select where you left off. There's a little orange bar. That's the clip that we just did. So if I want to add the next clip, which should be the next succession, you click on it, you hit the plus sign, whoop, pops it right in. Look how easy that is. Super easy, right? Um, I'm going I'm to delete that now. You can add in split screens. I'm going to do that with you guys because I already started the video. And I remember, let me find it. Uh, here we go. Edit. So now I'm back into the video I was doing. I'm going to edit it. Okay. So you guys can listen to some of this live with me. You guys can get a sneak peek. Okay. So here's the, here, let me see here. So you, then you're going to watch, you're going to play back your video, right? So like here. Right now. Curry. C-U-R-R-I. So there's a screenshot. It's the last mile. 
business. What you're seeing there is a screenshot. You could do blue, green screen, screenshots, uh, split screens. This is a, called a cutaway. So when you go to that plus button, if I go to photos, recently added, uh, let's say I want to add that in. Say I want to add that in again. You hit the little three bars. It's going to ask you, well, do you want to do a cutaway, which is what you just saw? Picture in picture to where it will be a small picture and then me still. Split screen, so you'll see both of us on the screen. Or green slash blue screen, where that image will show in pretty much in front of my face, but I'm still, everything behind me is going on. You can still hear me, right? So super easy to add things. Now, I need to find a few of the other little screenshots that I have, and I'm going to incorporate them into this here. Let me read the comments here. Uh, I did iMovie and I was not able to upload it. Ooh, what, what do you mean, Cassandra? Um, this is how I upload. So if I hit done, let's say this video is done. Okay. You see that little thing at the bottom in the middle, the little upload button next to the trash can? You click on that. And then I hit share video. Okay. And then I save the video to my device. And then it saves it. And then when I go to my uh, YouTube page and you hit the plus, that video you just saved is saved there. And then you just upload it into YouTube. That's how easy it is. So you don't have to have, you know, and it, it gets, you can do it very easily, very quickly, right? All right? Let me go back in there real quick. But if you have an Android, don't know, have no idea, then you have to, you're going to have to use DaVinci. You're going to have to use, there's a million other times of software. I don't have Android. I've never had Android. Do it again, please. Oh, okay. You need to do some of those curry orders. <laughs> so if you go to your iMovie, there's a little plus button. Let me see if I can't do it live. Hold on. It's hard to it's hard to do it like that. Hold on. You're gonna have to do look plus or the little the little share thing, then share video. And then you go up and you hit save video. It'll start exporting media. Okay. And then you wait for it to upload. Save to it'll say upload it to your photos, your device, and then you go, it's in your device. Then you go to YouTube, hit the plus arrow. Here, let me get rid of this. I don't need to do this. And then you would go to your YouTube app. Okay. And at the bottom, there's a plus key. You'd hit plus, select more photos. Then your photos pop up that are saved, right? So for example, this 12 minute one right here is the last one I just did for my channel. You would click on that. But it's, in, it's getting increasingly worse. next. And there's your YouTube studio, right? You put in your description, your visibility, you set all your parameters, and then you hit upload, and it goes in. You can set the time that you want to upload it. You could upload it instantly. You could do it as Premiere. Very easy. Um, let me discard that. I don't need I've to had the app. Okay. Let's get rid of that. I already, I already uploaded it. I'll actually show you guys. Um, if I go into my YouTube thing, it should be there. So if I go in here and go to your videos, there it is right there. Why DoorDash drivers are leaving. See that video right there? That's the one I uploaded about a half hour ago. And I can go in. I can hit edit. Um, make the, you know, yeah. I put my thumbnail in and I'm done. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. So let me see. Uh, let's see here. Let me go back into my studio real quick. <clears throat> All right. Let's do this with you guys. Beneficial. So let's talk about the pay. Let's talk. About... Sometimes it's a lot of weight. So now I'm watching. I, I when I make content, I'm. I know I, I'm not. I don't have a script, but I, you know, I have an idea, and then I go what points I want to hit, and then I know what screenshots or what screen recordings I have on my device, so that now I'm watching back to when I was talking, and then I will pause it hit the plus arrow or the plus thing. And then I could put in what I knew I had that I might have referenced when I was speaking. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to do that live with you guys. So hold up for a second here. So for example, here, look, curry, curry, C U R. Boom. So I knew I was going to show a screenshot of that app. Pick it up from places like Sherwin Williams, maybe a local. Okay. So now I reference Sherwin Williams, right? So I know I have a picture and a screenshot of, Sherman Williams Curry. So I will reference that in the video real quick. 
Uh, Gangster, appreciate the 499. Man, thank you so much, man, for being an inspiration. Thank you. I started my own private food delivery service. Oh, man. How do I thumbs that up? Let me thumbs that up. I'm on a different thing right now. How do I heart it? How do I thumbs it? There we go. Heart and a thumbs up. Appreciate the 499. Okay. Uh, my husband got his first check as a monetized Twitch streamer. Oh, Jennifer, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to give you guys a little like behind the scenes. I know a whole bunch of people ain't going to click on, you know, this is an impromptu live, right? But uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. So bear with me. I'll get back in the comments, but I'm going to continue to kind of watch this and I'm going to add in. I know I need to add in that Sherwin Williams. So I'll hit the plus key. Okay. That pops up. I'll hit all, or you can do recently added. Then all my pictures pop up, right? So I know I have a screenshot of a Curry Sherwin Williams that I did like a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to find that. Okay, here we go. Right here. Boom. I'll show you guys. Watch. Um, there's a picture right there. So I'm going to hit the little download. It's, you know, it's in my phone. There's a three little dots. See the three dots? I got that picture highlighted. Click on the three dots. And then it's asking me, do you want to cut away? Do you want a split screen? I'll just do a green blue screen. And then you guys are going to see it's going to populate it in. I'll show you guys in real time. So watch this. Business app. You're picking up from places like Sherwin Williams, Boom. maybe a local. Um, um, okay. So now I see, I don't like how that looks because that particular picture, you still see me. So what I'll do is I'll highlight it. I'm going to delete that. Okay. Delete. It goes away. Puts me back at the center point. Now I'm going to add it back in, but I want to put it in. It's just a cutaway. You guys will see the difference. It's going to look a lot better. Okay. Like Sherwin Williams, maybe a local. There we go. Um, so if I if I pause that, okay. Now that's what the viewer is going to see on YouTube. They're going to see what I just referenced. This is a Sherwin Williams paint run, right? Um, so let's continue. Warehouse place that has like solar panel equipment. I picked up from there a few times, and you're delivering from that business to a construction job site, another Sherwin Williams, um, uh, somebody's house that has painters or people buy that need supplies um that's what you're delivering what's up eric how you doing sometimes it's a lot of weight because science is wow that's very good congratulations yeah that's awesome man let's get let's get some some celebratory whatever in a chat for jennifer's husband when you get monetized for doing work or something that you're putting time and effort in it's kind of a big deal right it's kind of a big deal all right sometimes you got to make sure that the dimensions is going to fit in your car but the payouts can be beneficial so, let's so let me i just mentioned payouts can be beneficial Right. So as a content creator, I need to show a payout right now. Right. I need to show a payout to the person that's watching this video. That's good. So I will hit the plus key again. I'm going to look at one of the payouts that I've done that was good because I just referenced that. I'm just giving you guys a little tutorial back. I'm, I'm pulling back the curtain on how I make content. OK, because it's not as hard as some people think it is. And I want you guys to just get a little sneak peek. OK, so now I can go in. I have a million photos here. Right. I can go in and find one of those curries I just referenced. OK. So I've got plenty of good ones. Okay, here we go. So like this one here. Let's do this. Let's go. And sometimes when you're taking screenshots of your phone, you're going to have to edit it so that you you crop it. You can make sure that you're getting all that the good information that you want in there. Uh, let me hit split screen. I want to see what this looks like, if it has all that info or not. Uh, it does. Okay, so I reference a good order. And then, bam, we're going to see something that's $130 with also some information. So let me see if that flows together. Sure. So let's talk about the pay. Let's talk about how you can wait to get paid even more, sometimes four or five times more than when the initial offer comes in. And we'll talk about that in today's video as well. Okay. Now, before we get too far, have you heard of the Curry app? Are you on the Curry app? Are you on the Curry app? This is also similar to an app called Roadie. Mm -hmm. Roadie. These some are apps on Roadie. that are up and coming. Not a lot of people know about them. But they could be beneficial for you. So if you know about these apps, doing this live them, with you guys, let us know in the comments section down below. And what has your experience been like so far with Curry or a Roadie or a similar app like that? Okay, so and, and you could also split. So like, if I see where that white bar is, okay, if I click on this, now it says at the bottom, split, detach, duplicate, delete. I could split this, and then like you can get rid of like if I say something wrong, if I cough. If, if I want to put in some kind of break to make it look and flow better, if I'm saying the word um too many times, I don't do a lot of that. I do it sometimes because I just like my videos to be very vlog like just minimal editing. But you could, you know, you could split apart certain things in segments. So just just a little, little tidbit for you guys. <clears throat> and at the end, if I'm recording, 
if there's too much of a delay and you can see my hand do this or that, I might cut out the last like second and a half or two seconds of something to get to the next clip because it just runs a little smoother. Far with Curry or a rope. Let us know in the comments section down below. And what has your experience been like so far with Curry? Okay, I'm gonna split that because I don't I didn't like the last whatever. And when you do that, you could actually have like a slide to where it'll like the screen will slide or you can have a hard cut. You could put all those things in. I'm going to put a slide in to show you guys what it looks like. And what has your experience been like so far with Curry? Now, first Boom, things first, slide. These ads, they are nice. So you see that nice little transition? It's real simple stuff, but I'm going to show it to you guys again. Before, it would have just like rolled and it wouldn't have been as smooth in my opinion, right? So I wanted to. To break it and then slide it. Let me see. You know about these go. apps? If you work these apps, let us know in the comments section down below. And what has your experience been like so far with Curry? Now, first things first. There with these apps, they are not food delivery. They're not like food delivery. No, they're no, a no. lot more independent. Hit that thumbs up, people. Your decision making has to be different. The miles to money is different. A lot of these, I'll put some screenshots offers here. These offers are going to come in. Per okay, so I'm going to start talking about how the offers come in. They could be pretty low. So now I know I'm going to go back into my reference point on my phone. I'm going to show the audience some offers that I've seen, ones that are good, bad, whatever. Just showing them a, a, a showing them a description of what I'm talking about, right? So we'll go into <coughs> the Curry app, excuse me, and I'll find a few. I got plenty. I mean, there's so many bad ones on this app, and there's some decent ones too. Um, let's see here. Let me find a few. I mean, I got so many screenshots because you know I I make a video every day, right? So I'm constantly screenshotting things that look good or not good or whatever. Um, okay, here's one for 1124. So I'm gonna put that in there because it's not good. Uh, we'll do that. Thanks for the 499. I was, uh, I used Dumpling to take on private clients. Uh, yeah, which with giving them options, you should check it out. Help me out. I've heard about Dumpling, I just haven't had the time to. I know it takes time to set that up, but I've heard some really great things about Dumpling because you save the consumer, the consumer money, right? If they're usually using Instacart or something. And then you can set your own prices with the tips and this and that. And I definitely more of a personal I'll put touch. Some screenshots offers here. These offers are going to come in pretty low sometimes. It'll show you the. So I got 1124. Let me show. Let me show them another one here. Let me find one. I haven't done. I didn't. I don't think I did one curry this whole week. <laughs> I think I only did two last week, but. That's because I'm not seeing a lot of them, but, oh, wow, that was an $826 one. Yeah, I didn't do that, but uh, $992. Oh, well, I can't show them. I can't show all that, but I'm going to show some because I referenced that the price can go up. It might come in at low and then come back. Mileage from where you're at, the GPS, the app, you know, Curry app knows where you're at. You want to keep it active. Just keep it on at all times so you can hold on the opportunities, right? But you might be far away from that Sherman Williams. That, that. Okay, let me see. Now I, I want to reference one that I was kind of far. Um, let me see. What's this one here? Okay, yeah, this one. Let's do that. It's a perfect one to show. We'll split screen that. So I'm referencing that you might be far away. So look at this. And that Sherman Williams. That, that company, and Boom. That that's business. a split screen. So it shows up. I'm talking and then halfway. There's a lot of different ways you can put in the information. So this order is showing that I'm 29.7 uh, miles away. But when I get there, the drop off is only 3.2 miles, right? So you got to, I'm, I'm, I'm showing the audience, like, this is what an offer will look like. Look at the miles. It's going to show you this. Take things into consideration, blah, blah, blah. Company, that business, you might be hundreds of miles away, 40 miles away, 30, 10. It'll range. It will range. Each market will be very different, right? Mine. What up, Garden? Say, how you doing, bro? And then yeah, quick little sound. I'm just, I'm making a video. And I'm just talking about the process of it, how I do it. Hopefully, I think we've already helped a couple people. And maybe, you know, it, it just something, something fun. I got a couple hours. I said, let's go live. Right? I'm using the live on the YouTube. It's I'm different. Pretty far sometimes. And then the second part, it'll tell you the mileage from when you pick it up to drop. It. So let me show another one because I referenced it, referenced it again. So let me show them one more offer. So usually when I'm making a video, um, it might take me an hour, sometimes less, to put it together from beginning to end. It doesn't include the time I'm, when I'm just filming stuff. I don't include that because I'm doing other things, yeah. right? But with this particular content, yeah, it might take me an hour from beginning to end because I'm making it for somebody else, right? Uh, okay, let me do that one here. That's a good one. Let me reference that. 
do a split screen on that one again. So drop it off. That will usually be shorter in my case, but yep. sometimes it'll be longer. So, you know, it'll be all over the place. So you have to take into consideration your miles to money is not two, three bucks usually. It can be. That's not my, my experience, okay? And many others that I've talked to. It's going to be a dollar or less in some cases, but the cash flow could be good. You're talking. So now I'm referencing cash flow. I'm going to show them a good cash flow offer. You're talking maybe $40. So now I'm going to look at that. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having a good time, Garden. It's hanging out. I just, I went, I clicked the live feature on my, I've never, this isn't from my phone, so I've never done it before. So it's, it's different. Everything looks a little bit different, but it's pretty cool. I want to see, actually, I want to check out some things. I wonder if send feedback, manage, what's that mean? Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, what's this mean? Participants, timestamps, pop out chat. Okay, interesting. Engage with your audience. Okay, edit. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Um, let me find one of those good cash flow ones I was referencing. Oh, that's eleven dollars. That's not good. That's eleven dollars. That's not good. Let me find one that I did a little while back. That was like I think it was like a hundred something bucks. I could pop that bad boy up there. People would like to see that. Twenty one. No, I ain't gonna cut it. Actually, you know what? Let me actually go. I'll do a screen recording of my Curry earnings, and I'll pop that bad boy in there. So let me go to earnings. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'll go here. I'll do a screen recording of that. And then I'll pop that screen recording in. There we go. So I'll just scroll a little bit, show them some of the runs I've done, right? Referencing some of the good cash flow. And then I'll stop it and I'll put that in the video. Because I don't want to split screens or just this, you know, you want to show the audience some, some different things. And this is editing at a very simple level. I don't do ma this isn't master editing by any means, but this is I'm showing you guys how I do it, right? Um, let me go back in there. So now that screen recording should be in here. So when I go back, um, it should be in the video part. So let me see. You're talking maybe forty. Boom. Okay. So then, da -da -da, recently added. There we go. The screen recording's there at the top. Should, the newest thing always shows up at the top. So I'll click on the three bars. I want that to be a cutaway. I want the, I want just that to be on the screen, okay? Forty dollars, eighty dollars, and it's a screen recording. Hundreds of dollars if you're willing to do long mile. You can set that in the app. Long mile. Uh, All right. So then I'll clip that. Boom, boom. Okay. Um, and you can get paid for obviously more for those. But the miles of money's got to be different. So you have to take that in out of your brain. This ain't DoorDash. This isn't Uber. It's different. Your cash flow should be higher. What you select. Man, YouTube, okay. YouTube must not be recommending this live because based how I did it. Because usually, man, we have we'd have some more peeps up in here. But I'm happy you guys are here. I just wanted I just wanted to show you guys this quick little like feature on the phone. Okay, let me see here. You can select whatever. There's no acceptance rate or something like that, right? But the, you're gonna drive some miles. But you can tax breaks if you use the standard deduction. The, I'm driving like 100 or 100 place. Then you got to drive to it, and, and I got to drive back to St. Louis. So each market will be different. You have to look at where it where it is, and the timer it gives you is like a round robin. So when you see an offer, it, okay. So I'm referencing something else that I want to show them. For it, it'll tell you. So let me go ahead and find that screenshot as well. Very easy stuff, right? Popped up my notification. Ooh, I'm glad, Jennifer. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and find what I just referenced real quick. And I wish I had, there's no, there's no curry offers in my active app. Otherwise I would just grab something that's like in the app right now versus trying to find something I've done already, but there's nothing in the app. So I can't do that, but that's okay. All right. So let me go ahead and find that. So for example, uh, let me see this one here. No, nope, that's not going to work. I need one that is not <clears throat> cropped already and I can, then I can crop it myself. Mm, that's not gonna work. Next, but okay, boom, perfect. Okay, so actually, let me go ahead and find that in my photos, and then I will crop it. All right, let's see here. Let's go to screenshots. It's not that far back. 
because that what I just referenced in the video is kind of a banner at the top of the offer screen. So I need to just make sure that that is visible to the viewer since I'm referencing that piece of information. So let me go ahead and find, um, is that, no? Okay, we're almost there, let's see. I'll show you guys how I do it real quick. There it is, okay, so I'm referencing that it's like a round robin. So you see how it says next batch of drivers notified in 10 seconds. That's the banner I want to show up on the screen, right? So we're gonna edit that. Oh, actually, hold up, mm, next batch. Let me revert it, yeah, because <clears throat> I want just that to show up very clear. Okay, perfect. Done. Boom. That's going to be the most recent thing. I go back into my iMovie. I go back to photos, recently added, and it's the top one at the corner. So I click on that. Boom. Cut away. And then you guys will see it together right here in real time. When you see an offer, it'll tell you if it's top bar. Top bar, right there. Say, Ten seconds. Perfect. Perfect. See? Perfect. So when I'm making content, I know what I I've already taken a screenshot, a screen recording. I've already filmed something that I know that I was going to talk about. So now I'm talking about it. And it's as simple as me finding it in my device, putting it into incorporating it into the video at the appropriate time and then continuing from there. You do that a few times. You upload it or you save it to your device, upload it to YouTube. Boom. In this case, I'll save it to my Google send it to the guys, the ride share guy, and then they'll put it on their channel. Because I make videos twice a month for the ride share guy. I get paid to do it, and I'm happy to do it. Seconds, whatever, until he gets to the next round of drive. So if this, this takes me uh, an hour worth of time, and I get paid okay for an hour's worth of work. So for me, it's like, okay. you know, I'm always trying to figure out ways to make money um, and not have to actually be in my car doing it or sweat equity doing it or whatever, right? I'd rather sit down here, talk with y'all, make money while I'm doing that. Right now, I'm making money, right? And, and I'm teaching y'all. And I'm maybe, I'm not really entertaining today, but that's okay. Next round of drivers. Okay. What up, money? How you doing? And when that happens, it might get to the next round. They might decline. I'm, pu I'm pulling back the curtain. Um, I've had many times to where an offer comes in at like 11 bucks, 12 bucks, 20 bucks. Not worth my time. And it, as minutes go by, 10, 20, 30 minutes. They'll add money. Increase in price. Boom. So I just referenced that they'll add money if nobody takes it on the Curry app. So I'm going to find a screenshot of that because the line says bonus. And it'll be like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So let me find that because I know I have plenty of those in here. And we'll add that in. And I think that I think we're only going to have to add one or two more things that I reference, And then the video will be done. I'll save it to my device, put it in Google Docs, ready to go. That's how easy it is to make content sometimes. Not easy, but that that's the process. I'm, I'm not saying it's easy, but but. You know, that that's my process. And I don't spend hours on hours doing it. Here we go. That's told. Um, like some people, I respect the people that do that. I could never spend eight hours making a video that I, I'd want to pull my hair out. And I don't have the time for that. So for me, I found something that works for me. Um, and I knew I was going to make videos every day. And I knew I had to. Here's a bonus one. I can put that in right there. I knew I knew I had to find a way to do it effectively, swiftly to where it wouldn't take up a whole day. Right. OK, I, re I just referenced a bonus. Right. So now this clip is going to show an uh, an offer with the regular pay plus the bonus pay because nobody took it right away. Increase in price at the same beginning. Double they'll add ten dollars. I've seen them add seven dollars. They'll add ten dollar increments to where it'll go up to maybe like fifty dollar bonus. I've seen that twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollar bonuses. So I might start at eleven and wind up at six. What up, Chuck? How you doing? Rare because it's something you have the curry app. In, you know, they're going out to the drivers that have curry in your area. This is going out to other. You also see an offer. You can scroll down or scroll up on your screen. It'll tell you the item details. Boom. So now I got to show an offer that references the item details that I'm talking about. It'll tell you the item detail. Boom. Hit the plus key again. Back to our images. And then I will find the offer in my whatever that has the details, right? Um, here we go. Boom. Perfect. Right here. We're going to put that one in. I'll just cut that one away. And then item details. Perfect. There we go. Details. It's not going to tell you what it is. It'll give you approximate weight and item count. When you're dealing with Sherwin Williams, it won't tell you the because of pain and how wow. you might literally be delivering like a brush. I left that in the instructions. It'll also say, um, you have to unload and load the. A lot of times, you know, you're gonna need a dolly. You 
So when you look at the items, it won't tell you what it is. And even after you accept it, it will give you more details about what it is. Okay, so I want to show that as well, which would be right here, I believe. Um, let me find one of those. I got one of those in here somewhere. I know this might be boring for some of y'all, but I wanted to show. I knew somebody would get get something out of this, right? A little peek behind the curtain. Why not? Okay. Let me see. Is this one? Yes. Manifest. Primer. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. That's a perfect one right there. Perfect example. Um, I'm going to do that as a cutaway as well. Dasher from ETL here. How's it going? It's going good, man. I got a video off for y'all tonight. You, go, you might like about what it is as far as dimensions and maybe even a description, but that's dependent upon the business and what that business put in as the details. Mm -hmm. the work. So that will I use CapCut. It's pretty good. You know what? It's funny you mentioned that. I have CapCut. Where is it at? I, I used it for like a video or two. Is it on my other phone? Uh, no, there it is. Cap cut. The white one right there. I, I just don't use it because I the iMovie just works, but I've heard good things about cap cut. Find what works for you, right? I'm just trying to give you guys uh giving you a peek behind my curtain here, how I do it. Possibly because everything's done with this device right here. And they might Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need to. About that. You gotta upload pictures, so you're gonna take photos when okay. you get there of So let me I got that. I got that. Um, I can take a photo of, I can show this photo right here and then I'll add in right behind it, another photo, just so there's a couple reference points here. I could do this one right here. Um, boom, boom. Perfect. So I referenced a couple photos there of like your document, the receipt that you get the manifest, take a picture as, as you're in the shop, what you're picking up or if you got it in your car and then when you drop it off, you're also going to take a picture. Give the person's name that you dropped it off. Okay, I'm referencing the name and all that. So let me go ahead. I know I have that in here as well. Uh, a screenshot of like the name and picture or name and signature part. So I will do that. That one might be a little further back though, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, there's that. There's a good picture to put in here. I like that one. Give the audience a few options here, you know. Complete delivery, earnings. Actually, you know what? If that If I add that picture, it doesn't go. The timeline doesn't match with what I'm saying. So let me just, two is fine. Let me show them the picture of the signature part. If I can. Let's see here. Oop, and go to all. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you all if you all got some questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. I can answer some questions, and I want to do a live sub count with y'all. But I think I'm not doing this on the vertical, so it's not going to really work how I wanted it to. But that's okay. We won't. I'll, I'll omit that. I think this only goes out to people that have the notifications on. I'm assuming. Okay, let me see if I can't find it. A peek behind the curtain of content creation with Mr. Ben on you. Boop, boop. That's my uh, theme music. Today is anniversary of Kobe's last game, I think. Oh, Goose, yeah. What up, Hybrid? How you doing? Um, oh, Hybrid. I saw a community post. I didn't want to comment because I was going to wait to see how I can reach out to you personally, but I'll share it with you now. You're here. Um, be careful with the community post we put out today. People that have shared their referral link have gotten in trouble in the past. I'm not saying don't do it. Just be mindful. Do your research. Um, let me see. Let me see. I'm glad you came in. because I was going to I was going to try to see if you had an email or something because I could just do it that way. But since you're here, I'll just just be mindful. Be, be careful. Uh, DoorDash has gotten some people have gotten in trouble for that before. So. Um, Oh man, this that, this picture might be buried in here. I'm gonna have to use my my owl eyes to really find it. Mm, okay, I don't know. Was that it? No, no, no. Okay. Ooh, where is it at? Today. Yeah, Kobe, man. What did he score? 60 or 61? 61 on his last game, right? 
He's right behind me, man. Right there's the, there's the boom. There he is, right there. I just started doing content on YouTube about Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I'm not really sure what to cover. Just cover whatever you you whatever you experience, Adam. Don't overthink it, man. Just give the people whatever you experience. Be yourself. It's the best I can say. Unless you got something specific you always want to cover, just do that, man. To start, at least. Okay, where's the picture of me? Hmm. Yeah, no problem. Man, I gotta try to find this picture that I'm referenced. Hmm. Where does she go? Where does she go? I know I had one in here. Updated payout. Okay, no, I don't need that. I need the picture that has the um, Pedro. Not sure I posted anything with the furling today. I'm going to have to read. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. No, didn't you have a community post talking about maybe there there might be another channel that has a similar name. I might be mistaken. But I thought you posted your referral link about DoorDash or something. I could be wrong. Don't listen. Maybe I dreamt it. Don't worry about me, bro. Oh, Bears fan. I've been to I went to a cheese game with my brother. He's a, a big uh, cheese fan, but I'm a Bears fan. I, I mean, I, I respect the Chiefs. I mean, they're, they're, they're amazing, but I'm a Bears fan. I got a Michael Jordan picture right there i mean i'm from i'm from chicago man where's this picture this is taking a little longer because i can't find what i just referenced i might not need to put it in but i'd like to put it in i'd like to put it in but i don't necessarily need to put it in oh yeah you're all good man i might be thinking of somebody else but the name maybe you have a maybe somebody else has a channel name just like yours it's very similar um that could be the case you know you know how youtube is man people be People be uh, having similar names out here for their channels and shit. So let me see. Where is that picture? It can't be this far back. I guess I have had curry for a couple of months now, but I don't really need to. I don't need to put that in. Two, right? Have them sign. Thoughts on Caleb? Uh, not happy. Um, not happy at all. Um, not happy at all. Um, not happy. Now, if the Bears play really well and he he's the next Patrick Mahomes I'll change my mind um but I'm not happy I wanted Marvin Harrison Jr um I thought we should have traded the first pick got another pick we could have got Marvin Harrison could have traded with a team like the Redskins or the Patriots if they wanted Caleb Williams could have gave him them and with the the third or fourth pick take market Marvin Harrison Jr he's a generational wide receiver for the next 10 years he's going to come in and do great things uh, anyways, I, I thought we should have gave Justin Fields another year or two, but one other thing I really like about the app is you can pay like the next day. My time at 1 p.m. Central, right? I get paid, but it's okay. All right. So Apparently, Drake responded to Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar and others. Not sure if it's true, but it's circling. Ooh, yeah, it's not gonna listen. I'm not a Drake, I'm gonna listen. But I ain't, he ain't Drake, so. Waiting on your money, you get paid. Oh, that's a pretty good benefit. If you want what up, Cheeky Chops? Know, Hit the thumbs up, people. There is no, like, stacking. Okay. Okay, so I don't, I know there's nothing I'm going to reference here. If I can fast forward through all this. That's it. Making a YouTube video live. There's definitely some benefits to this curry app. The cash flow can be good. You have to be patient. How many miles? I got to drive all before I even, you got to be patient. But somebody else might grab the pick. These zones, right? They don't have. It's not busy. Like I haven't done a lot. So this will be the first curry video going on a rideshare guy. So I'm happy to make I'm not it. An expert, but I share it with you my experiences. Put the comments down below. Also, check out the app called Solo. Okay, hold on. Let me put this in there real quick. Drake's trying to respond. Listen, Drake is fucking trash. If you like Drake, I, I ain't a hater on you, but Drake is not on Kendrick Lamar's level. It's, I mean, listen, it is. I, I, I'm not even gonna. Uh, let's not. Let's not even get into it. Let's not even get into it. 
Okay, cut away. No ditty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solo. Guaranteed earnings in select market. Okay. Earn smart, be safe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys. Okay, done. So this video is uh, 12 minutes and 53 seconds, a little longer than usual, but I had a lot to say um, in that video for them. Usually my videos I make for them are like between like seven and 10, but they'll be fine with that. So now I hit the, the arrow, I hit this middle one here, iMovie. You click on that and then I'm going to save it to my device. So it says share video. And how do I want to share it? I can copy, I can save. I'm going to save it and it will begin to exporting video movie onto this device and then when I make something for my channel, I just hit the plus arrow on the upload on my YouTube page, my channel, and then it'll upload that way. And I go to my studio and do description and thumbnail. And then um, when this is done, I will um, put it in Google and Google Docs and send it over to Chris at the Retro Guy. So um, let me show you guys my thumbnail. Did I make a thumbnail for my? I did. Here we go. I use Thumbnail Maker. There's my thumbnail for tonight's video. You guys are getting exclusive behind the scenes, okay? So that's what I use there. So if I go to my YouTube studio, I'm going to apply that thumbnail into the video. So I go to content. There's my content. There's the video with the YouTube selected thumbnail. Click the three dots. Click edit. I'm going to edit it. This is where I would select the monetization. I want to turn that monetization on, obviously. And then you hit the little, this little thing right here. Click on that. And then you hit custom thumbnail. Boom. And then anything that I've had, my phone will pop up. I click on the one I want selected. I select it. Done. I hit save. Ready to rock and roll. That's the video for tonight on this channel. Then I would go back in and edit. And then this is where I'll put in my description. I have the th I have the I have the title of the video, but now I need to add my description and any kind of links or whatever else. I do that, and that's it. Tonight's video, why DoorDash drivers are leaving the platform in 2024. I talk about why DoorDash drivers are working less DoorDash or not DoorDash at all, based on what I've seen, what I've experienced, what other people are talking about. That's the video for tonight. So um, I could add this in on a playlist. You could do tags. You can tag products, all that good stuff. So that's it. That's content creation, man. Let me hit, uh, let me go in here real quick. Hold on. So you guys got some questions? Ask them, man. Ask them. I had a little bit of time. I wanted to check in with y'all real quick. Live sub count reveal. <laughs> you guys want to see the live? Here, let's see. Let's see. So maybe somebody's watching that's not sub and you can sub real quick. I'll show you guys real quick how that works. Um, let me go into, let me go to my studio. How many subs do we got in this channel? Okay. Let me hide this information. So we got 77,090 subscribers. Can you guys see that? There's a light a little. Not bad, right? 825,000 views. And this is all the last 28 days. 7790. Somebody subscribe so I can show you that we get 7791. I'll, I'll go back in a minute. 70, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that, man. I'm happy about that. Last video I uploaded, talking about Pizza Hut, is 3 out of 10, 2K views. Delivery drivers, boot, 528, 3.8. So we've already gotten, uh, I've made three shorts this morning, and we've gotten 3.8, 4.6. We've gotten 7,000 views in three shorts this morning. That's just from those three shorts. We've obviously gotten views on other content that's already been made, so. So not bad. I like to make the shorts. It's a different audience. Um, I enjoy doing them. They're really easy. Um, the credit card, my show. Have you done Amazon Flex? No, I have not. How do I post like my earnings for the day? How do I do that? How do I post like my earnings? What do you mean post your earnings for the day? Amazon Flex is a key. It could be in your market. I don't know. Not in mine. What up, Trey? Damn, this is my first time on here, but subscribe yesterday. Appreciate that. Uh, less than 10% of channels can get over 1K sub, so it's a huge... Oh, hybrid, bro. I work hard, and you're absolutely right, man. It's hard to get... It's hard to do this. You got to have a little bit of luck, but you got to put the time and the effort in. Um, If you're consistent, and being, I mean, consistent for years, you can be rewarded by YouTube, 
right? You have to, it's a game, right? A lot of people start and then they don't finish. So that's where that 10% comes in. But you're absolutely right, bro. What's your average subs per week, Pedro? Let's take a look. My subscribers are pretty, unless a video goes crazy, are very, very, very much the same. Look. So 1.1K, that's the last 28 days. So there's a little bar graph. You might not be able to see it. I'm trying to, the light's messing it up. But I get anywhere from like 40 to like 90 a day. Let's see. Did anybody subscribe? We were at, what, what was the number? I'll show you. 7790, right? I'm going to refresh it. Nah, we got the same. 7790. Look, <laughs> nobody subscribed <laughs> in the last 10 seconds. That's okay. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <coughs> I thought maybe we'd get, maybe somebody will unsubscribe so the number goes down. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, that's funny. All right, so let me go ahead and go in there. Um, yeah, if you got YouTube questions, I'll answer them. What's your episode per day? Would you do one more spark? Um, I try. I start. I started the process to sign up, and then I didn't all the way through. I got. I'm on delivered that. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Actually, uh, I'll be doing delivered that next week. Um, I'll show you. Watch. Delivered that is. Oh shit! Hold on. Um. So they so delivered that as a company uses V R O M O driver Vremo driver. You guys see that little app right there, the orange one. If I click on that, there we go. Available, and it tells you offers, whatever. There's no offers. I've been on the app since yesterday. I haven't seen one offer. Now it is the weekend, and this is a catering app, but I haven't seen anything. There's some profile right there. But I'm sure I'll see something next week, hopefully Sunday night or something for Monday. Um, I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm on that app, ready to rock and roll. So I added that to the arsenal. And we've been doing curry for a couple of months, so I'm good with that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still doing DoorDash and Instacart. I still got Uber Eats as an option, right? But, yeah, you need to get that cough checked out. Oh, Omar. Obviously. Yeah, it's definitely gone. It's gone away a lot. I've, I've, I've been doing some things. So I'm feeling, you know, it's it's pretty much done. If you remember, I was going live on Sunday, and it was like I couldn't even finish live. I was like, fuck this shit. Uh, but now I've been live for 47 minutes, and we've been fine. All right, let's see here. What questions you got about YouTube, about whatever? Ask them in the chat. I'll stay live for a little bit more. If you guys are if you guys are flowing in the combos, I'll, I'll rock with you guys for a little bit more. But I just wanted to show you guys YouTube content. I use iMovie. I just made a video live with you guys. It's uploading right now. It's all done. You guys got a little peek behind the curtain. Why you hide that monetization number, bro? Yeah, I don't even know how much money I make. <laughs> That's personal. I don't, want, I don't want the haters out there like, he makes too much. He makes too little. Oh, my God. You know, nah, I ain't giving you all that. I've said it before in the past, but I ain't doing that right now. I think Shohani is innocent. Um, Goose, I don't think he's 100% innocent. Do I think he was gambling on games and like, no, but do I think he knew about what his guy was doing? Probably. He's a pretty smart dude, I would imagine. He And they were together all the time. So there's no way that you don't know something, right? But I don't know how culpable he is as far as like breaking the laws. Or I, I really don't even care if he gambled on baseball. I just don't. Um, but I don't think he's completely innocent, if that makes sense. Let's see. We, we got to at least get one new subscriber while we're live here. Nope. Still 7790. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> we did just get another 200 views on that short. There you go. Them shorts be kicking, man. 60 comments. It's been two hours and 50 minutes. Not bad. Um, Bear's question. Surpassed your focus. Welcome to deliver that. I made it preferred drivers. Yeah, I know that there's tears. You know what's funny? People give shit on DoorDash that there's tears and there's ratings. Every app does the same thing, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take I guess I'll have to take some bad ones to get to that. I want to get to elite. Um, so we'll see what we'll see what my market has to offer. But I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think one bet was on baseball. Yeah, probably not. What up, Dash and Sip? I missed curb aboard car problems. When will you be back to Los Angeles? I have no idea. Favorite comedians right now? Ooh, Bill Burr's good. Um, there's an Enrique guy I saw here in St. Louis. He's good. 
Um, I do like, I am a David Chappelle fan. Um, George Carlin's my favorite comedian of all time. Uh, Richard Pryor, Martin Lawrence is good. Eddie Murphy had a couple good years when he was doing the raw shit. But right now, yeah, I mean, Bill Burr is good. Um, I like more of his old stuff. I don't watch a lot of comedy, but George Carlin's a goat. I'll say that. Both his tears. Yeah, every app has tears. They just don't say it as well as others do. But comedy festival right now in Austin. That's what's up behind the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Carlin was so good. Oh, ahead of his time. I liked how he, Carlin is similar. David Chappelle does something similar. He kind of tells stories and he talks about social issues and his experiences. It's not just like all one-liners. It's like a slow burn to something that makes you laugh. And then he's telling another story. George Carlin was the same way. I just, just I love George Carlin. All right, I can't stop this live until we get at least one subscriber. One subscriber. I see a lot of growth when I do vertical lives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get a lot of views, a lot of growth. Those don't pay as much, uh, uh, Hustler. Um, those viewers typically will only, most of them will, only, if they subscribe, they'll only come back for your vertical lives. They're not going to usually watch your long form content, but that's okay. Because you got to understand, as you know, YouTube has three different, four different audiences. Shorts, lives, long form and then vertical lives, really. And then there are some people that like to just look at the community posts. So it's like 4.5. But yeah, you're right about that. Uh, suggestions on mixing up though. If you're going to do horizontal, um, stick it to like a, like, like, like I do every Sunday, horizontal. That'll always be horizontal, right? And then if you want to mix in verticals, I think those are good for impromptu lives. Or maybe if you're, I got a scheduled every Wednesday, I'm going to do a vertical, like that would be cool. But if you're going to mix in both, you're going to have similar. Some people will watch both, but you're going to notice there's different audiences, less views on one, more views on the other. Um, yeah. But vertical lives is something I was doing and I still do it a little bit. It's I don't it, it's faded off because now that content creators know about it, more people are doing it. So when you have more creators doing verticals, you're going to have more people to have options. So you're going to get less views. But yeah, I was doing it for a couple of weeks where I was like, at the end of the live, it was like 40,000 views. Like, what? But most of those views are for like three seconds, right? So that's why the, the money on those isn't a lot. There were no gets back to back. Ooh, well, they're in a three-way three, three -way tie for first right now. So we'll see what happens. Oh, hold up, Goose. Is that breaking news? Did Victor get Defensive Player of the Year? He deserves it. And he's going to get Rookie of the Year? He's had a fantastic year. The Horizontal Mamba. Good deal. Appreciate it. Yeah. What up, Jose? Appreciate the 199, brother. Always with that 199 super sticker. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Um, what's your favorite Ro Joe Rogan podcast episode? Ooh, I don't know. I, I used to watch a lot more Joe Rogan. Haven't watched him in a little while. Uh, I don't know. There's so many good ones. Fuck. The Chappelle one was good. Elon Musk one was decent. Uh, I thought the good one was when he'd have his buddy on that was an ex-MMA guy, and they would just go back and forth on shit, and he would, you know, that those were good. I like the obscure ones. Um, he had this psychologist on once I forget her name. That was a really good episode. He's got a lot of good ones. I don't necessarily have a favorite. That's a hard answer to question, a hard question to answer. But I, I do like Joe Rogan mostly. Yeah, he's pretty good. I used to watch him a lot more than I do now. Ah, I'm still waiting for that for this to say 7791, but hey, it is what it is. The sub count's slow today. <laughs> All right, if you guys got any more questions, let me know. I'm gonna rock with you guys for another six minutes, okay? And then I'm gonna go upstairs. My daughter should be done with her nap. I got to go do some grocery shopping and hang out with her for a little bit more. To go to the library today, we went to have lunch. So but she's taking a nap right now. I say, well, let me make my video. Let me go live, talk about the process, hang out with you guys for a minute. And then I'll go back on to my poppy duty. Oh, I was hoping we get one subscriber. <laughs> that's funny. I guess all y'all are subscribed, but that's fine. Our area is so slow for doing that. So the app would say it's busy. And yeah, man. You know what? Let me, let me show you what my app looks like right now. Spark your groceries. No, I ain't doing that. Here we go. It says it says busy. I could dash now if I wanted to. Listen, I went back out last. So I, I worked yesterday for like an hour and a half, but I, I didn't work until one because I had things going on. And then I stopped. I had a Zoom meeting with DoorDash. I'll talk about that in a video. I'll talk about that tomorrow, I think, probably. And then um, I went back out for 
I worked four, almost four, like almost four hours last night. I don't usually ever work nighttime, but I didn't work lunch for real. So I was like, let me go out and make some money. 140 bucks in like three hours and 45 minutes last night. I declined one order. And then the last thing they sent me wasn't something I normally take, but because I was close to the restaurant and it was all the mileage was going back to where I was going to drive home anyway, it was nine bucks for like 7.5. I took it because it took me back home basically like an hour, like a mile and a half away from home. So, but I only declined one order. So my AR went from 72 to 77 after my dash last night. Everything was good. There was a $2 peak pay, but I'll show you some of the orders I was seeing. It was crazy. Um, not crazy. I didn't have anything that was like, oh my God, it's the best order ever. But I had everything was good. Everything was good. And I did one Instacart that when I was doing an Aldi at DoorDash, and I was like, boom, boom, same time. So, I mean, I was seeing like a 1550 plus. It went up to like 16 something. Yeah, they hit 50 cents. Look, went up to $16. So, so my last order was nine bucks. The one before that was fifteen fifty. The one before that was thirteen fifty. Uh, the one before that was I had like eights and nines. I didn't screenshot all of them. Eights, nines, tens, nines, eight for one mile. Um, yeah, it was just yeah. I think those are actually in the other phone though. So yeah, it was an easy night last night, man. I declined one order. That's it. I just jumped up from 25, 31. Nice. Very impressive. Wish I could get that, but my area is very small. I hear you. What up, uh, Insane Dash? How are you doing, man? You notice as you go below 75% and it turns orange. Does it? I didn't I didn't notice that. Mine wasn't this week. What up, Wealthy? How are you doing, bro? I just did a video. I just showed everybody how to do iMovie video content and uploaded it uh, live. What up, Thunder? How are you doing, man? But yeah, last night was good. Um, but yeah, we've been talking content creation. I use iMovie, guys. I use iMovie. It's very easy. I think Wealthy probably uses something a lot better than that because his video editing is way better than mine. But for a content creator, if you're going to make a lot of content, keep it simple. Don't You don't need to spend eight, nine hours editing. You can, but I couldn't do that. It wouldn't fit my lifestyle. So I just did a little tutorial on how I, how I made a video and how I put in stuff in. So I'm in Atlanta. It turns yellowish orange at 74. Interesting. Do it as just a joke. Hey, man, I'm not going to disagree with you necessarily. But you got to make it. You got to make it work for you. Last night I had a Walgreens 17, 13 miles with five drop offs. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen a Walgreens with five drop offs. Matt says, "Why is it that at times my early slash on time goes through?" Mine has always been the same. I use Wondershare Filmora, about a hundred dollars one time purchase software. Nice. I've never heard of that one before. I've heard of like DaVinci, and you know, Trader talks about DaVinci, and I've heard about other ones, but that that's hundred bucks. That's great. I used to use iMovie back in the day with my friends and our skateboard. Yeah, listen, garden. I am. I keep it so simple, bro. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I was doing six-hour edit sessions too much. Listen, I mean, I'm not here to tell y'all how to make content. I just was sharing you how I do it. But yeah, I could never do six hours. I couldn't imagine sitting in front of the computer. I don't have the skill level. I don't have the patience. I don't have the software bought like Wealthy has. I just would. I'm not interested in that. For me. You know, I'm, I'm filming stuff in my car as I'm in the moment, or I just put the car on and just talk and film. Or if I'm doing a ride along, I'm filming stuff. And then I am putting it together in iMovie as I'm working so that I'm building a video, I'm building content as I'm doing something else. So that's why it doesn't take me a long time. Right. Um, it would be not impossible, but it would be stupid for me to go out work or do whatever kind of work i'm doing come home try to spend time with my girls and then come down to the basement and spend six hours editing i wouldn't i'd get three hours of sleep at night so for me i i just i i'm so impressed with people that that have that much skill level and time i could never do that Seventy seven thousand subs on imovie is a gangster <laughs> yeah man we were trying to get a couple more subs a day but the sub count i was showing everybody hasn't grown yet now nah, it's the same 77 7790. Look, 7790. <laughs> we use Fillmore too. Oh, Thunderdust? That's what's up. I've never heard of that. Editing is the worst part about being a content creator. Some people love it. Some people love the process. You know, if you're somebody that makes one video a week, like some of the big channels, right? You do one video a week, or you have you pay people, you have a team like the big channels do, 
you're not doing it. So, you know, editing can be a passion for people, but for somebody like me, no way, man. no way. I spend 30 minutes to an hour, an hour. If there's an issue, <laughs> you know, usually it's 30 minutes for me to put it in an iMovie, splice it, add my screenshots, add a voiceover or do this or do that. And then upload it. Like if you're including the process of putting it together, thumbnail, description, description box, uh, uh, upload to YouTube and then edit to monetization and then put the thumbnail in an hour tops is what it takes me. That's on that's on a bad day. If something went wrong or the video is not uploading fast enough because maybe it's longer or I forgot something. Um, that's proof right there. Yeah, Listen, I think people love the edited videos. There's You just got to understand there's a lot of different people in this world and we like to watch different things. You can watch something super edited. You can watch a people vlog style, which is what mine is. You know, you could have a GoPro. You can have an iPhone. You can have a team of people filming you. There's a million different ways to do it. There's no right. There's no wrong. You do what you're comfortable with and what you can sustain. As a content creator, you have to be able to, to, to sustain it to where it's not taking over your life and you're not be you're not becoming like it's like you hate making a video. Right. You have to do it. You know, so if you're doing one a week and you spend six hours editing one video a week, that's not bad because you can chop it up a couple hours a day, whatever. Um, for me, hell no, I could never. Uh, that rawness is what's many YouTube look for. Rawness is good. My wife did all our editing. She liked f f uh, Flora best. Yeah, yeah, or Fillmore. Yeah, I think I think some people really like the process of it, the creation process of it. Editing is very time consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you write off car repairs on your taxes at the end of the year? I had to get front struts. Um, I write off some things, Matt. Yeah, I don't use the standard miles mileage deduction. I have a lot of other things going on, so my taxes are different than most. So I'm not going to give tax advice, though. Definitely, I have somebody that I hire. I don't do my own. I, uh, I often spend five plus hours on a video edit. Yeah. yeah, but yours are different. You know, you have you, your edits are cleaner. They're crisper. You're adding music and this and that. Like, I don't have any of that. So I can only imagine sitting. I couldn't imagine. Oh, my God. No way, man. I'll be doing drone shots on this upcoming trip. Ooh, man, them drone shots are crazy. Do you still do one on ones as a, member? a, a hybrid? Yes, I do. Yeah, uh, weekly. I have several people that I talk to every week. I couldn't. The drones, man. There's a yeah. There's some channels that do the drones. That's impressive. That is so awesome, man. I would love to do something like that. I would love to do something like that, man. I'm surprised we haven't had. That's weird. I would. I mean, I've seen some videos even in the gig space. Eli Esh did a video a couple of years, probably two, two and a half years ago. And he started it out and then he, he, you know, he, he said his thing and he cuts to some stuff and you see a drone, he's got music in the background. It's just, Oh my God. Such a visually, it's so awesome to look at. So unique. Hawks Bulls playing game. Who you got? Oof. That's a coin flip. Wealthy. Um, I'm not going to go against the Bulls. Mini Mavic. Yeah. Yeah. The West, the Western Conference is loaded and stacked. East is pretty soft. Celtics are clearly the better team in the East. Um, Bucks have been so bad the last couple of weeks. Um, Knicks. Knicks have been playing good ball. Cavaliers. You don't want to play the Cavaliers, but in a four game, in a seven game series, you probably want to play the Cavaliers. And that's it. I think Joel and B got hurt again. The Celtics got the easiest path out of anybody. I expect them to win the whole thing. Um, definitely, if the if if Boston Celtics don't come out of the East, something somebody got hurt or something went wrong, and somebody's getting fired. Um, but the Western Conference is loaded. Really looking forward to the NBA playoffs. Go Bulls! I got to head out. You know, have a good. Hey, wealthy, have a good one. Appreciate you coming in, Ryan. Jalen Brunson, man, he's had a fantastic year. He's going to get some MVP votes. He shouldn't win it, but he's going to get a few. My Sixers trash, man. Yeah, I think and B came back, but then I did he have like a little re injury tweak to his ankle or something? I, I saw something yesterday. So, listen, y'all are great. We're still at seventy seven thousand and ninety subscribers. I thought we'd get one, but that's funny. I love the people. I'm sure if you guys are here, you're probably already subscribed. So I appreciate y'all. So that's I just want to go live with you guys real quick, talk about the content creation, show you what I use uh, down in the bet on you basement. Bet on you set goals one day at a time. Boom boom. Mamba mentality. And I had a little bit of time. I said, let's just do an impromptu live.
show the people how we make the video content. Um, appreciate the couple of uh, super chats and the sticker that we got. Appreciate all you guys for being in here. I got I like to give Thunder a wrench, but can I do that now? No. Uh, I can. Thunder's a oh, hold up, man, uh, standard, and I want to give a hybrid one as well because you guys, uh, where's hybrid at? It's been a while since I've given wrenches out, but um, these guys are fellow content creators, so I um, I like to give a few here and there. It's been a while since I've given any. There we go. Adams, hey, you're welcome, man. Uh, you know, I think you and Cassandra, Cassandra, she had a couple questions. We were able to answer a couple of questions for her. So I think it's definitely beneficial for um, for them. You know what I mean? So that's what's up. Hybrid, welcome, bro. Appreciate that, man. Bet on you. So hit, hit my email up, man. Hit the email up. So you guys are fantastic. Have a great weekend. I'm going to go and – oh, look. <laughs> Look, 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 look. So we were live. We lost a subscriber. Look, hold up. <laughs> look. <laughs> I, you know, you can't get, you can't get bothered by those things anymore. They're just kind of funny. Uh, you know, I got so much content that the subs go up on their own organically. You don't, you don't worry about it. You don't stress about it. Um, somebody hate yet. <laughs> I am actually happy because it makes me laugh. Like when I see stuff like that. Um, I do think it's kind of funny. So it's, it's a good way to end a lot. Listen, y'all have a great weekend. I'm going to spend the rest of my weekend with my girls. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be live every week, you know, 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Um, I got some topics. I'm going to be going over the conversation I had with the HR representative from the, the PR, Dasher Council, Dasher Support, not Support, Dasher Relations person. Her name is Jen. I had a really good, like, 40-minute conversation with her yesterday. So I'll be going over some of that. And you guys could believe or not believe or take it with a grain of salt. I'll be talking about that and we'll have some topics, a lot going on. You know what it is. So appreciate y'all. Have a great day.